Hello, this is Nice Wander, and I want to talk about Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie primarily, but there's a lot to get into, so I want to get right into it right now. Um, for those watching you may not know, uh, if you're on Queen fan pages or Mr. Robot fan pages or wherever you are, um, I am the host, creator, and producer of the Now Man Show, which is a cultural magazine. Um, Focusing on arts, entertainment, education, and news. It's been broadcasting. We're in our fourth season right now. Over 100 half-hour episodes. Done a variety of different things. Um, and um, as a matter of fact, I've got, as an example, uh, I'll be recording my third interview with David Bowie's piano man, Mike Garson, in November 2018. So I'll have a little bit more about that uh, uh, later. If you would like uh, to submit a question, um, uh, as an example, but anyway, um, and I, by the way, I'm also interested in doing uh, interviews with uh, Rami Malek, Brian May, perhaps Roger Taylor, and others. So uh, spread the word around if you'd like to see more interview content with definitely some interesting, unusual, or let's say different questions than than these interviews might be asked by most outlets. That's just what I do, and you can watch the show and you can see what I'm talking. About. Um, anyway, uh, Queen, looking forward to seeing Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, I missed seeing the preview, but I think I'm going to like it better not knowing what to expect and sitting in a theater in Hollywood. Um, going actually Friday night, November 2nd, and then be at the Arclight, uh, formerly the Sun Roma Dome, on Sunset Boulevard next to Amoeba Music uh, at, for the 7 o'clock show. And there is an event on Facebook if you're in the LA area and you want to join us, just you know, click on Facebook, look for the event that says Bohemian Rhapsody, the Queen movie. Uh, yes, we will be there at seven o'clock for that show. Uh, if you do want to go, you might want to get your tickets because it's like a rock concert. It might even be sold out, I'm not sure. But um, if you email me at the Now Man Show 2017 at gmail.com. We are going to go out to eat. Some of us are going to go out to eat beforehand. Um, so uh, if you want to connect with us uh, there, then you can do that. But we'll definitely be at the theater at 7 p.m. Friday night, November 2nd, to see the film. I'm looking forward to it. Rami Malek's excellent. Uh, and Mr. Robot TV show. I got very excited when I heard he was going to be playing uh, uh, Freddie Mercury. Uh, just, I just as excited about that as I did when I first heard that you know David Bowie and Queen were going to get together and collaborate. Same kind of excitement there. Um, and let's see. And I, and I give you a little bit of preview where I'm coming from. Historically speaking, um, I have had conversations with the Brian May and Roger Taylor in the early '80s. I'm sorry, John Deacon, Brian May and John Deacon in the early '80s. Uh, and I did step into an elevator, uh, just happened very suddenly uh, with Freddie Mercury in the late 70s. I froze. I, I didn't know what to say, um, but it did happen. Um, and um, now, if you're going to be a fan, don't be, you can still do out of the box things, but just don't be crazy, okay? I wasn't crazy. I did some out of the box things, but I had great conversations and I was very respectful. Um, so please don't get crazy. Um, even if you're a fan, uh, you can tone it down and be respectful and yet still make that connection. And, um, just wanted to say that because, you know, I know that sometimes people do get crazy, uh, with their uh, idols and I certainly don't want to encourage that at all. As a matter of fact, I'm making a point to discourage that. Um, just think about how you would want somebody to approach you or talk to you. Respect, be respectful uh, if you are in that fortunate situation to connect with uh, your idols. Um, and now, songs. Uh, I'm going to get into some songs here in a minute, but first, I'm going to show you some things. Uh, I worked in a music store, actually, we called it record stores back in the day. This is an original promo thing that hung on the wall at the record store when uh, Day of the Races was. Uh, Released, of course, that's the crown uh, that was on the cover. Yeah, this is the cover of the album, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it was only the fifth album at that time. That's an original, and I've on to that thing. 
And um, if you, um, oh, and I do want to show you this. The second time I had a chance to, uh, uh, maybe for a minute or so, talk to uh, Brian. Although the first time I did have, I think I talked to him for about five minutes uh, in the early 80s. This was a book signing um, here in California, more recently, 2009, 2010. Uh, Dr. Brian May, who wrote this book with uh, two other uh, astronomers. There's some great pictures in here. Look at that cover. I should love, love that. So you can see that. Yeah, um, great pictures in here from the Hubble telescope, which was actually created here in the Pasadena area, Southern California. And uh, and also, too, if you come to the theater, I'll be bringing this. I'll just show it to you right now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool as well. Um, so, um, songs, Queen songs. Well, let's see, uh, so many, but I'll just, um, first of all, I'll start with one of the more commercialized kinds of songs. Uh, now I'm Here from the 70s. Um, just, you know. Now I'm here, um, and seeing that live uh, it was always fun because you know the the lighting was great, and and Freddie would be on one side of the stage and say, "Now I'm here," and then uh, the light would go off, and then he would run to another part of the stage, and the light would go on. He'd say, "Now I'm there." Um, that is as long as there was no technical difficulties. So that was pretty. Just fun, a simple way to be very, very entertaining, and I love that. Um, because that's a Brian May song. Um, of course, somebody to love from David the Races album. Uh, I love that song, the vocals, the harmonies, just like Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, but it was a gospel style, so I could, I, I grew up with that, so I definitely understand you have sung in lots of choirs and uh, some rock bands uh, with good vocals vocalists as well, um, you know, and very, uh, that's something I resonate with very well, a lot, I should say. Uh, also, um, Radio Gaga in the 80s, because I love the science fiction element and the radio, uh, the, the concept behind it, and of course, that's a Roger Taylor song too, which is cool. Um, and uh, of course, somebody to love is the Freddie song, of course, because it's driven first by the piano and then everything else is built around that. Um, and of course, Bohemian Rhapsody, right? Uh, how can you, I mean, that, that song is really what drew me in, even though I had heard Keep Yourself Alive on FM radio, I didn't really know, I didn't connect the dots until after I heard Bohemian Rhapsody, but that was also Queen. And um, so, uh, yeah, we, we're a little slower here in the United States to, to catching things. You know, uh, Europe, of course, seems to be ahead, still seems to be ahead in many ways. Um, but the obscure songs, I mean, there's things like Mustafa from the, the jazz album, right, right there, <laughs> the jazz album, uh, great song. Um, gosh, what else? There's, I mean, there's so many, but I, I don't, I don't want to spend a lot of time on that at the moment. I will later, though, because it's a, uh, uh, it's a phenomenal repertoire of obscure songs as well as the hits. Um, of course, Under Pressure, hands down. I mean, I think that's one of the greatest collaborations, uh, greatest songs in any genre of music. And the lyrics, love the lyrics, still relevant to this day. I'd love to do that uh, a cover, my own cover version of that with a, with a, uh, a band sometime. I think uh, I, I, have, I do have two professional albums. I have done professional shows. Uh, many, many of them, um, and uh, I don't think I ever did a, 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 a Queen or a David Bowie cover, so that's something you, that needs to be done along with my own original material. Um, okay, Rami Malik, love Rami Malik um, and Mr. Robot. Uh, like I said, I got excited about that, uh, hearing about him playing Freddie Mercury and Bohemian Rhapsody, just like I did get excited uh, hearing that David Bowie and Queen were going to collaborate, same kind of excitement. So, uh, and I've heard great things about Rami and just uh, like I say, Mr. Robot's an awesome show. If you've never seen it, looking forward to season number four, which is also coming up. Um, 
And what else can I say? Well, going back to the Now Man show, like I said, I, I, I've interviewed a lot of different people, filmmakers that made movies about music, one of uh, won an Academy Award for his music documentary. Um, saw him last night, actually, here in LA. His name's Morgan Neville. Uh, the film was 20 Feet from Stardom. He's on a host about backup singers. Uh, won, a, won an Oscar uh, just a few years back. The best uh, documentary. Uh, Darling Love's in it. Mary Clayton. Uh, uh, so the Lady Grinning Soul. What's her name? I can't. Uh, David Bowie wrote the song about it. Um, Judith Hill, who you know, sang with Michael Jackson and Prince. Very great, great movie. Um, and uh, he's got a new one out about Mr. Rogers, uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor? And he's got a movie debuting November 2nd on Netflix uh, uh, featuring uh, clips from the many, many hours of Orson Welles' intentional unfinished film. That sounds great, too. And uh, so what else? OK, um, the Now Man Show. Uh, I've, like I said, I've interviewed David Bowie's Piano Man twice, getting ready to do the third interview. Um, if you would like to submit a question um, to Mike, and it doesn't have to be just about Bowie, but um, so we'll be talking probably about Nine Inch Nails, Smashing Pumpkins, classical jazz, healing music, uh, whatever, you know, uh, still putting that together. And a lot of it is on the fly anyway, because we're both guys that like to live in the now. So I'm sure he'll play some some music too, again, spontaneously and making it up in the moment. And uh, maybe we can uh, do a tribute to uh, David and Freddie. That's a great idea. I just came up with that right now for you in my head. Um, so anyway, if you have a question, the Now Man Show 2017 at gmail.com. Also, if you want to meet us in Hollywood to watch Bohemian Rhapsody, I want to get this video processed and out there. So I think that's it. The Now Man Show link, where you can see that below. You can watch the show. Uh, there are two different channels, so you can make sure you check that out too. Um, the Now Man Show channel is a work in progress. Anyway, I always like to say, this is Nice Wander. Um, stay present in the moment always. And we will rock you!